Hi, you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host Laura and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. The creators of Neon Cat and Keyboard Cat have sued Warner Brothers Fifth Cell Media for allegedly ripping off their creation's likenesses in their company's new Scribblenauts game. To add insult to injury, Fistcell then ignored all requests to settle the issue out of court. The creator of Neon Cat wants the character to be enjoyed by fans, as a meme, and has not restricted those fans from using Neon Cat artistically if not for profit. But commercial use is another story, and other companies have licensed Neon Cat properly to be used commercially. It really makes me wonder why Warner Brothers didn't take the proper steps to avoid this issue in the first place. Marcus Notch Pearson has released a new online game titled Drop. It basically channels the irrational fear of being crushed by a falling ceiling and turns it into a typing game. The object is to type the spinning letters in order before the ceiling comes down all the way. I'm pretty immodest about my typing abilities, considering I have a background in clerical work and the dreaded data entry. I depended on typing games to give me an edge in the brutal job market that descended after I graduated. Drop is hands down the most intense typing game I've ever played. Once the music starts pumping, the letters seem to blend into the background and put even my fast fingers to the test. I'm a huge fan of educational games, but Drop transcends the genre because it has a challenge that is often lacking from other typical typing games. It doesn't feel like a typing game, and that's actually a good thing. So check out the link in my article above if you want to play it yourself. There can sometimes be a disconnect between the creative side of the brain and the logical part. I can sometimes have an epiphany with just enough time to scratch something out on paper. And that's usually as far as I can get in developing a game, a scribble, of level design, or a few lines of plot. Fortunately, game development tools are being made ever more user-friendly. Pixel Press, an iOS app, actually allows its users to sketch game levels. Designers then use their iP iPad or iPhone to scan the physical drawing of their levels. After the outline is scanned, tiles, sprites, sound effects, and music can be added to the level. Right now, this app is just a prototype, but the creators will be starting a Kickstarter this month to bring the app to the masses. More good news for indie game developers. The Turbulence game engine has gone open source. Turbulence is a one-stop game engine that provides all the tools developers need to quickly create high-quality and hardware-accelerated 2D and 3D games, playable across mobiles, tablets, and the web. The engine was specifically designed to be a complete internet game engine, made expressly for building games that are played online, rather than on a console or a PC. On the GitHub project page is a wealth of information about the engine, including a Get Started Guide and other development instructions. By releasing Turbulence Engine as open source, it can keep down costs for startup developers who are not restricted by using the engine. Would you be personally more likely to dabble in game design if you could more easily get an engine to work on? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. That's all the news I have for today. Love and peace from my PC to yours.